Hello! Hi guys, it's Inam Kafour here with the Samsung Galaxy Gear smartwatch. We're going to be taking a look at an application called Watch Styler to change up the style and view of the clock face on your smartwatch. And you can see I'm already using a different style called LED for this uh, clock face I've got here. And I'm just going to show you how easy it is and what kind of functions Watch Styler has. So we'll bring over the Note 3 and head over into Gear Manager. Then from here, go into Samsung Apps. And once that loads, we'll go into clock right at the bottom. And once this loads, you've got a variety of clock faces that you can download for absolutely nothing at all. It's all free. And then you can get them displayed on your smartwatch. And you can see that's the LED one that I've currently got set on my Galaxy Gear. So we're gonna take a look at Watch Styler. And it's, as I say, absolutely free. I've already got it installed and it's a good way to customize your smartwatch. Once it uploads, it gives us three predefined clock faces, but we're gonna create our own by hitting the plus sign. It then wants to know, do you want an analog or a digital theme? Always digital for me. And then I'm gonna call this Android and then hit done, hit okay to give it a name. We're now in the first step out of three where we select the background setting first. And obviously this is a preview to your clock face. So the first option along the left here gives you 10 predefined backgrounds that you can choose from. And then it gives you the display underneath. But we're not gonna choose this. The next one along allows you to choose an image from your gallery. So we'll see if you can choose this little guy here. And then I'm not gonna choose the entire image. We'll just choose just this little guy himself like so and then hit done and look how cool that looks alternatively the other two options allow you to set an image from your camera application if you wish or from the end option here the color palette you can use block solid colors with pattern effects towards the bottom here and you can set transparency levels from the controls right at the bottom if you wish but I'm gonna hit cancel because I like this little guy here. You would have also noticed three controls down here. The first one being the magic stick allows you to overlay your image with various settings like black and white, high contrast, and then sharpening up the image if you wish. The second option here allows you to completely reset the watch settings if you're not happy with your clock face that you've created. And the third option here gives you a full blown preview of your clock face on your watch. And you can zoom in and zoom out if you want a better look at it. But we're gonna carry on going, so we're gonna hit next because I'm happy with that background image. And next step is to set the watch as it says there. So you get the predefined settings towards the top and you cannot select your own. These are the only ones that you can select. So I like a digital format, so we'll go for that one and then I'll bring it down towards the bottom because I like that a little bit. And then what you can do is from down here, you can go towards the color palette and change the transparency of that text or the color if you wish, like so. And we can make it block solid if we want. But I'm gonna leave it at white because I, I like that finish. So we'll hit apply. And then as normal, you can hit refresh to completely reset it if you're not happy with that or give you another preview from here as well. But that looks pretty cool. I'm happy with that. So we're gonna hit next. And then we're on the third step here where we can select various date battery and display settings from here. So we'll choose a date one and I want another digital one if I can. So what we'll do is we'll choose, I oh know, we'll choose this one. And then I'll bring it down a little bit just above the time like it is there. And shall I change the color? No, I'm happy with white. So I'll leave it as it is. Transparency is fine. And then what we'll do is we'll have a look at the world time. Do I want any world time on there? No, I'm okay, but I do want a battery uh, display on, so I'll tap that one. I'll prefer that one out of all of them. Yep, that's fine. And you can change the positioning just by tapping where you want it on the screen. And we'll also have a Bluetooth display here as well. So I'll have the white one and then we'll position it sort of right next to the battery symbol there as well. And same controls down here. If I'm not happy with it, I can reset it or I can have a complete preview from the third watch styler icon but I'm happy with that so far I'm gonna save it now and it'll say it has been saved as you set the theme if you select that apply go to gear manager to apply the theme to your galaxy gear so 
and we're going to hit apply that's now applied the clock face that we've created to the watch styler application so we need to activate it so it appears on a galaxy gear smartwatch because at the moment it is still the led one as you can see there so we need to go into clocks and then scroll down to where it says watch styler like so i'm going to tap it to activate it then hit the button here to get into the settings and then you can see coupled with the predefined ones that already come with the application we've got the one that we created so I'm going to tap on that and it says do you want to apply this theme to the clock yes I do so we'll hit ok and then it goes through the motions and you can see it's changed the clock face on my Galaxy Gear smartwatch. The only downside to this application and the Galaxy Gear smartwatch itself is whenever you set a clock face, it only sets it on the first display screen. So all these remaining screens do not carry that same theme going through it. It's only the first clock face screen that carries that theme. That's the biggest gripe that I have, but apart from that, it's a great application. And as long as you're fairly artistic, you can come up with some great looking clock faces. As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got hit them up in the comment section down below there give us a thumbs up if you like this video and a lot what you saw and if you haven't already done so hit subscribe it's just down there it doesn't cost you a single penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos thanks for watching have a wicked day and we'll see you next time